Hello, user testing community. It is Mike McDowell once again from the solutions consulting team here at user testing back with another tip of the week. Now this week, we're going to be talking about the way to get to templates that will most make you effective in your job when trying to gather customer feedback. Last week, we had our first quarter release of the year for 2022. And in that release was a little feature called template filtering. Now, our professional research team, they have done a great job coming up with new templates. Uh, at current count, we have, I believe, 80 templates. And while that's great, it can be really hard to navigate sometimes. So as you'll see here on my screen, this is the template window. You can see 80 templates. This is where we're creating a test. And we said select, create a new test from a template. You'll see now we've got these great new filters right at the top here. And the filters are methodology, which you can see here, all the different phase, uh, the different methods you might want to test, benchmarking, our information architecture, preference test, usability, phases, or even discover, build, or iterate. What assets you want to test might be an app, might be copywriting, might be a prototype, or an in-person product experience, or just a URL. And then your role, if you're a designer, a marketer, a product manager, or just a pure researcher. So there are ways to filter down what you want to do. So let's take an example here, and let's say I'm in marketing. I click on marketing, you'll notice it just filtered down to 61 templates. And the asset I want to test this time maybe is some copy. I'm getting ready to put some copy out there. Um, I've done some tips in the past few weeks talking about testing things like social media and marketing messages. Well, now we're down to 15 templates by applying these two filters. You got brand messaging, choosing between options, concept validation, messaging comparison, messaging comprehension, email engagement. So tons of great options. Let's say I want to clear these filters and switch it. Let's say I'm a designer. And now I want to test, let's say, an image. I'm testing an image, and I'm a designer. Now I've got ad testing, choosing between two options. Uh, again, some of the similar ones here because the, everything's not exclusive. But we've got test creatives and validate an idea, visual design comparison. So again, 13 templates out of 80 that apply to this scenario. Uh, the ability to filter down by role is not only easy, but it also lets you see the real diversity in experience that we are working towards in user testing. So whether you're a designer uh, who maybe doesn't have as much experience as a pure researcher who knows who could really be doing a lot of research from scratch, but wants to use the templates to get a head start and see, you know, where user testing comes out in a particular design strategy. So hopefully you're using templates already and maybe you have your favorites, but using these filters, we're going to really help you get to a bit more of the templates that are relevant for your particular use case. So uh, I'm going to be looking into some accounts and seeing if people are using templates. Uh, I really hope to see more growth in templates and filters. If there's any questions, obviously you can reach out to support. Use the user testing community to your uh, your uh, coworkers, as it were, in, in the community. And with that, I'm going to leave you. But I'll be back in seven days for another tip of the week.